Hi, what is spinal fixation? Normally, whenever uh, we fix the spinal bones with the screws and rods, we call it as spinal fixation. Endo fusion, where with the small holes with least invasive approach, we take the endoscope there, we decompress the nerves and put the screws and rods and fix the spine, that is spinal fixation is done with the small incisions using endoscope. Let's see how endofusion is done. You take a scope which is an angled scope, the 5.5 mm working channel with irrigation, the light source and the camera connected all to one tube and you can see it's in the saline irrigation. We pass the scope and which is connected to the 55 inch high definition TV. So now you can see the monitor, the clear picture and remove the tissue, soft tissue from the bone. And uh, once we delineate the lamina and the parts and the facet, we use a chisel and break the parts. So this is the patient's own graft is removed through that uh, small incision of 10 mm. Once the graft is removed, then we prepare the end plate, decompress the nerves and prepare the end plate. And you can see the entire disc has been removed and end plates are prepared as anteriorly as possible. Graft is placed, the autograft which we have taken, the patient's own graft. Once the graft is packed, serial dilators are placed through the incision where the next screws will be placed. So through that we place a dilator and these dilators are being seen with the endoscope. So the dilators go till the disc space and serial dilators are placed only to have an advantage when we are placing the cage. These dilators will dilate the muzzle and the cage goes inside very easily. Once the dilators are in place, I take a, a dissector and I'm seeing the fecal sac with my scope and take a dissector and retract the, the root and place a case through the dilator which we have dilated the muzzle. After the case is inserted, then you do a percutaneous through fixation as a standard technique, either with navigation or with the arm guidance. Screws are placed, percutaneous screws are placed and rods inserted. So advantages of this is there is no muscle damage, there is no blood loss, there is no bone damage and the now complications which uh, the fear of uh, uh, any patient uh, for surgery is not there. As a result of which outcome is better, patient recovery is faster and going back to work is very fast. So overall the endofusion helps patient recovering better and faster.